until August of 2018, and we have been together over a year. We've been married a few months now, and I wanted to do a kind of a one year on. Um, there's, I'm, I'm about two months, less than two months away from my one year of being here with him, so this is a kind of good midway video to a year being with him in person, over a year being with him in a relationship, and um, a couple months being married. Uh, and I'm going to talk about how things are a year onwards. I was going to make it with Josh, but we're both going to record our parts separately, and then I'm going to put them together into one video. So, when I was in New Zealand, you know, I didn't have a lot of faith in relationships because of the way my own has gone in the past, and I wasn't looking for a relationship, and then, you know, as you guys know, me and Josh met, and I took this humongous leap and gave up everything, um, had it out with Logan, um, not really had it out with him, but just instead of us continuing to flow along in this life that we thought we were happy with and we were lying to ourselves and lying to each other, I instigated it. We sat down, we had a conversation about how, how unhappy we really were and how things needed to change and we let each other go. And that was hard because it's hard to step out of your comfort zone into something new and different and I was just at that point in my life where I felt like things had to change both of us did we were stagnated you could just tell things weren't going great and when I met Josh everything changed and it was like wow things feel different you know this is what I'm missing in my life this is what I want in my life and I was scared because I've met a lot of people online, of course, and they start off one way, they pretend to be one way, and they end up screwing you over, lying, not being the person they say they are, and to move back home across the world, halfway across the world, somewhere I've never been, where I don't have a support system or anything like that, that was terrifying for me. I want to do a comparison because what I did was such a major thing and things are going so great. I, I do just want to share it with you. Um, you know, we were just talking about it in the car on the way home. We had gone out to do some stuff, and I was like, man, you know, we've been together for over a year, and I still look at you like the first day I saw you at the airport, and he's like, I do the same, and, you know, I still, we still touch each other. We're very, very affectionate. We're very clingy and close and lovey, and we still treat each other each day as if it's the first day we we got together and it is amazing this is what it's like being with a man instead of a boy and there is no comparison being with someone who is actually an adult and who's been married before and who who knows how to take care of a woman basically um, he opens doors for me he holds doors open for other people he is a true gentleman I get dressed up and I come out and he's just like wow you are beautiful you look beautiful and he tells me I'm beautiful like every single day he looks at me with love in his eyes he does everything for me he does he, he, he complains a little bit on certain things like if I'm like my food's made wrong can you go complain sometimes that gets old but it does because you got to go up there and then you risk them throwing attitude and all that but he does it he, he does it every time every single time and, you know, I can just go up to him and hug him and hold him and he always, he always touches me and holds me and, you know, he thinks about me during the day, he texts me all the time and he calls me and it just, he just, he always has a ready compliment and he always has a ready hug. He is so respectful and kind and it's just... To me, he is the most gorgeous guy I have ever seen in person or, or online. You know, he is like, whew, uh, I look at him and I'm just wowed every time he has his hair down and he's just, he is just such a handsome man. He really is. He is just breathtaking. He literally takes my breath away. You know, I see him walking around the room and, you know, 
it's just his his brow and his face and his eyes and his hair and his body he's just he is just so well put together he's just gorgeous he really is i can't believe that you know i landed such a catch he is just amazing and i'm so proud to be with him and be seen with him and i just i never knew love could be like this this healthy and giving and I'm exactly where I want to be in my life. I never thought that I'd be this content or this happy or this in love, and I am. And I wouldn't change it for anything in the entire world. There is nobody in this entire world that I care about aside from him. You know, he is a... He, that's it. Like, that's it. I mean, I care about my friends and stuff. That's on a different level, but he is just everything to me like, i don't even know what i would do without him he is just he has opened up my whole world and he's made it such a better place to be you know um i never have to feel like i'm not good enough or i'm not pretty enough or whatever with him i always feel like i'm some supermodel goddess around him he just he accepts me for exactly who who i am what i am my hair is so fucked up <sighs> um he accepts me flaws and all and he doesn't see any of my flaws and on that note also like I'm a really critical person I was talking about this with him today as well I'm a really critical person and I've always been you know like there are certain things that I don't like about people that I'm with um, not that I would judge them for it but I would notice and not like it you know what I mean like it's hard to explain without sounding too bitchy but everybody that knows me knows that I like I and I've said this before I hate 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 body hair and on him I honestly don't mind I, I don't make him shave it I don't ask him to shave it I run my fingers through his chest and and I've got absolutely no issue with it like I love him for who he is even when he gets scruffy the only time I ask him to shave it is if it, it pokes me and it hurts not because it doesn't look good because I think he looks beautiful no matter what and the petty dumb little things that I would pick on with other people like eh, I don't like this I don't like that I'm not even phased like I, I love him just how he is I see I see nothing wrong with him and married life like this married life is this is like the best marriage I've ever had I hate that I have to say that because I've been married before but this is really it for me and this is everything I've ever wanted. My life with him is so good. We've gone through so much together. We're doing so good now. And we have each other, which is the most important. And life couldn't actually be better. And um, I wouldn't I wouldn't take back that decision for anything. Like, I, it was the best thing I ever did to decide to come here. And I will never forget that moment getting off the plane and walking over and seeing him there playing his game and he just looked up at me and his eyes shone and he was just so beautiful and he just held on to me and I was like I can't believe this is him and he looks like this like he was just so much hotter in person than I could have ever imagined and and ended up being such a sweetheart you know things we've gotten so comfortable with each other that's really the only thing that's changed in a year is uh we've gotten more comfortable with each other and even closer than we were before if that's possible but we have and by all means this I, I've told him this before this should not have worked you know two strangers meeting on Facebook we met and he asked me to be his girlfriend and 24 hours later he proposed to me and like a couple weeks later I moved out and then three or four months later I made it here and then exactly a year later we got married and it shouldn't have gone like that you know usually if you meet someone online like I said they they lie or they mislead you they're not who they say they're gonna be or you find out you're not compatible that's a big one you know you might find out you're not compatible at all you're two totally different people you don't want the same thing or whatever especially since we didn't get to know each other before we made this these decisions and moved um we were literally two strangers and we came here and we still had to find out about each other and everything and 
and somehow it's just worked and worked and worked and worked and this relationship is showing no signs of stopping he is so loving and so respectful to me I I don't lack for anything nothing at all and um, it's just it's just, I, I'm having the best time I've ever had in my entire life at the moment my life has never gone so good and I've never been happier I can say in my entire 41 years I have never felt like this and you can believe what you want but this is the the complete honest truth like happy doesn't even begin to cover how I feel and how content I am and how great things are he is better than I could have ever imagined he was he is more beautiful he is more giving he is more caring he is more everything than I could have ever dreamed of hoped for or asked for and I'm just happy that he's mine hey everybody uh, this is Josh and I wanted to give a video update of a one-year progression of mine and Raven's relationship to let everyone know how well it's going what we expected how it turned out what's going on and uh, first off I want to say that we do love each other very much uh, I grow I grow more in love with her every day we laugh we make each other laugh all the time my hair down I know she loved my hair down, so I forgot to surprise her. Um, I still remember the day that I saw her at the airport. I was so happy. That happy, the happiness has not died down at all. Uh, we're still in love. We still have a great time. Uh, we both now have a job. We both work really hard, and we do enjoy it. I'm we are we are truly in love we it's great I remember the I still remember the day that uh, I saw her at the airport for the first time I was blown away she said she was ugly and sweaty and tired but she wasn't sweaty or ugly I know she was tired I was tired too um, I had to go to work the next morning I was at the airport but I didn't mind because I was picking her up We've been married for a few months now and it's been great. We've been married for about three months. I'm glad I decided to take the next step with her. Best choice I ever made. She knows it. She knows how much I love her. I know how much she loves me. So there's that. We have a lot in common. We have more in common than I thought we would. She's a great cook. She is a great wife. She's a great cook. She cleans. She's always worried about me. I'm always worried about her, but uh, she's always worried about me, no matter what it is. If I don't get enough sleep sometimes and I have to go to work, I have to drive uh, almost an hour for work. She's always checking up on me, and I love that she does that. I've, we've moved a couple times since she's been here. It's just we've had no control over some of them. And we're here to stay. Here. We're actually buying this place. We bought our Explorer. So we're starting our life together and we couldn't be happier. I love our marriage. I love our life together. I love how well we get along and it's one of the best decisions I have ever made in my life, my entire life. Um, each day that goes by, I'm more in love with her than the day before, always. And it's good to be in a relationship like that. It's great to be in a relationship like that. I love her company. She loves mine. It was a wedding picture. One of our wedding pictures. I have it hung up in our living room. Uh, Christmas is coming up. Our first Christmas was great, but this one's going to be much better. More gifts. More time together. I should get a day off. She should too. We finally get to spend each other's birthday in person here recently and it was great she did a video showing the gifts I got her she gave me some great gifts too I couldn't be happier um, I don't know where I'm glad that we decided to uh, start our life with each other start a new life with each other uh, we get along great <laughs> we really do 
the best relationship I've ever been in. Best one. Pebbles. It's pebbles. It's pebbles. Look. Oh. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Hey. Adorable. Hey. And, and look, look, look. Look. <laughs> Alright, get out your book. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, Pebbles is a handful. I call her Poople sometimes because she uses the bathroom a lot. <laughs> We've got her um, trained to not going on the floor. We have pads for her. And she'll actually want to go outside now with Loki, which is great. <laughs> she almost house trained herself, really. She's really smart. Loki's really smart too. So are the cats. But Pebbles is really smart. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, get on and give everybody an update. Raven had did hers a little while ago. I, I want to keep her happy. I think I'm doing a pretty good job at it. She's a great wife. I try to be a great husband. I go to work. I get up, go to work every day. Cause I know bills have to be paid. So is she. I really didn't see me here a year ago so happy with a woman that I love so much I really didn't I love him with all my heart I really do I always will I feel like I always have and um, we're doing really really good for ourselves and we really are We always tell each other how much we love each other. I say I love you every day. She says it every day too. I always tell her how beautiful she is. She knows she is. She needs, she thinks she's not, but I know she is. Yeah, everything's great. We have a lot in common. We have a lot of music in common. A lot of food, tastes, I guess you'd say, in common. Um, yeah. That was one of the happiest days of my life right there. Wedding. <laughs> it was fun. It was hot, though. I was sweaty. I had my hair down. That was a mistake. <laughs> but I, I wanted to do it for her in the pictures. In most of our pictures, I have my hair down. Yeah. That's about it. I just wanted to let everybody know how much I do love her, how happy we are, what's going on. And that's what's going on. Um, um, we'll probably do another video maybe six months to a year from now like this with an update or progression or whatever you want to call it. Um, Raven, when you see this, I want you to know that I love you very much. I love you with all my heart. I always will. I know you will too.